Hi, today we're going to talk about how to do a material takeoff um, co with cost for your Revit model of the shed. And so we're going to do that by creating a schedule just like any other schedule. You can do that by going down um, on the left on your, under your project browser, right clicking under schedules and quantities and saying new schedule there. Or you can um, go on the view tab, the create panel, and then up on the right here under schedules, going to material takeoff. So under this material takeoff, we're going to do a material takeoff of the walls to begin with. So I'm going to select walls down here. My option is going to be material takeoff. And you see that I can select phases. I only have new construction phase in this project. So I'm just going to select new construction and say OK. Um, so then for um, my project, I want to add a couple of different things. So I have my family and type. I'm going to add that over here. Um, if I had added uh, the symbols for and tags so that I had wall tags and wall types of different of different kinds on my project, that would be especially important. Here we only have one wall type, so it's not as important, but it's still there. We're going to add uh, the amount of area that I have, so I have uh, um, an amount of square footage, um, and then I'm also I'm going to add in my material cost, and I'm going to say add with that as well. Um, and then in order to get this formatted to be able to um, do some mathematics and to be able to have some sorting and grouping and, and be able to look correct, we want to add a couple of things. So we're going to sort and group this by the family type. We're going to itemize every instance here, and we are also going to include a grand total. And um, under the formatting, we're also going to just leave that alone for right now. Um, you can then change your font here to the type of font that you want to use for your project and change that type as well. And so I'm just going to do that down on the bottom here. And eighth inch should be fine. Eighth inch is, is large enough to be able to read on your sheet. And so right now I'm just going to say OK. So then that produces something that looks like this. And you can see that some of my walls um, I have indicated that my price per square foot is $6 per square foot under material cost. So that means that wall type I've actually indicated that my material cost is $6 um, under that wall type. And sometimes it's not um, very good about identifying what those different types are. And so we're going to go in and make some modifications to be able to have this work a little bit better. So underneath our fields, we're going to go back in there and say edit, and we're going to create um, and add a few more fields. So we're going to add description, and I'm going to move that up so that it's under my family and type. Um, I'm going to remove my material cost just because it's giving me a hard time. And you'll find that that's the case with Revit. The material cost that is, gets manually input uh, sometimes is, is not accurate and does not show up everywhere. It just shows up in some places, which um, makes for bad math. So we're going to add a category that's called cost, and we're going to add that on there. And then we're going to create a few calculated values. So I'm going to create a calculated value um, that does a couple of different things. Now, normally, what you would be able to do is I would just be able to create a calculated value that is going to multiply my area times my cost, and voila, I have a, a material cost. Um, but Revit does not like multiplying square feet times um, currency. So it just it, it will give you an error message that says that these two things are not the same and we can't do math. So in order to do that, we need to convert our area to a regular number. So we're going to create some fields that we're going to just hide. So I'm going to create um, a field that's just called convert to number. And um, whatever you call it is fine, but just so that you know that you're converting it to number. So this common is OK, and number is here. And then from my dot, dot, dot on the right, I'm going to select my material area. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to divide that by 1. So I'm going to do my slash divide by 1. And I'm going to say OK. So now I have convert to number. And then I'm going to add one additional calculated value. And that is my total cost. And this is going to be common, but this is going to be currency, because I want it to be um, a number. And I'm going to take my convert to number. So again, clicking on that dot, dot, dot. Don't try and type it in, because if you type it in slightly different, it gets mad. Um, so I'm going to type in that con convert to number. And I'm going to put in the multiplication symbol, which is the asterisk. Um, and I'm going to multiply that by my cost. And you could also multiply just multiply this by a number. So you could put a number in here. But that doesn't work out really well if you have different wall types. Um, so I always like to just multiply it by the cost. And I'm going to say OK. Um, and then 
Uh, underneath this total cost, I'm going to make a little bit of modifications to its formatting. So I'm going to go to formatting here. I'm going to select my total cost. And uh, I'm going to select calculate totals because I want it um, to calculate those together. But then I also want to add some formatting to the field. So under field format, I'm going to select that. I'm going to uncheck my use project settings um, just so that I can make some changes. And so under my unit symbol, I'm going to change that to a dollar sign because I want it to have a dollar sign there. And I'm going to say OK. Um, I'm then going to select my convert to number field and I'm going to select hidden field so I, because I don't want that to show up um, in my table here. It's just really it's a hidden thing so I can get my thing to work correctly. Um, and then underneath uh, my material and area, those all say square feet right now, so that's all good. And so then I'm going to say OK. So you can see here I have some blanks because I have not applied um, a cost. And so under this cost category, I'm going to say 6 and enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to say it's going to apply this change to all things of this same type, which is really handy. So all of the walls that it's finding, exterior shed with siding, it's going to change them all. So And I want that, so I'm going to say OK. Now if you had different wall types, you would have to enter in that cost for each of your different wall types. Um, and you would you would update that accordingly. Again here under the description, so I'm going to put a description in here that I have an exterior wall, I have two board two by four um, wood studs, and that I have OSB sheathing, and in my case I have metal corrugated siding. And again, it's going to ask me, do you want to apply that to, mall, to them all? And I do, so I'm going to say OK. Um, so you can see there that that is doing some math for me. Um, it's adding them up all at the end here. So you can see that I'm spending almost 77, um, or excuse me, $7,700 on materials for my exterior walls. So that's the material takeoff.